You haven't taken your mask off. You always do when we talk like this. If everything is fine, why do you hide your face? <sighs> it got so much worse. Why did you try to hide it? Didn't want you to worry more than you already do. Hunter, I assure you, I'm fu- You're not! Can you stop saying that? I'm not stupid, Uncle. I see you're getting worse. Every day. Why won't you let me help you? I can find a way. Maybe wild magic can- Hunter, we've talked about this. Talked about what? I know it's dangerous. You know what else is dangerous? Doing absolutely nothing about a curse that's eating you alive! Sometimes I feel like you've already given up on yourself. Like you've accepted that one day you just won't turn back and I'll be left alone. I'm just trying to help you. Why do you keep pushing me away? Hunter, sweetheart, look at me. <laughs> I promise that I'll stay around as long as you need me. And I'm not breaking that promise. But the last thing I want is for you to get hurt. Wild magic is extremely dangerous. Whatever happens to me, you should stay away from it, okay? Hunter, I need you to promise me that you won't get anywhere near wild magic. <laughs> I won't make you worried about me using wild magic. I promise. <laughs> Three days later. Hunter! Are you okay? You've been staring at that fire glyph for 10 minutes. Mm. <sighs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. Even if it wasn't, it's not like you would be much of a help anyway. Mm. What happened? Mm. Uncle's curse happened. Listen, I... I know that Owl Lady didn't want me to know about her curse before she herself decides to tell me, but I really need to know if... if her elixirs ever... stopped working. Did Bellos' spell stop helping your uncle? I wouldn't have asked if it wasn't this serious. It's okay if you won't tell me, though. I understand. <sighs> okay, fine. I think Edda would have told you if she knew the situation. There was a period when her elixirs didn't work. She had to limit her use of magic to keep the curse away for as long as possible. But as you probably know, that didn't work out. I know that Bellos did something to Edda, too. She got her mind back, but she was still an owl beast. So in the end, the only way to fix things was to split the curse. Wait, what? Lilith used a spell that takes away half of the pain from the one it was casted on and gives it to the one who casted it. Elixas were helping again, but now neither Edda nor Lilith could use magic, and now both of them had the curse. So, uh, I'm really not sure that this will help you- So, what you're saying is, after Lilith split the curse it got weaker, could it also help Owl Lady to got her harpy form? She has had this curse for many years, but learned to control it only after what Lilith did. Uh, you did hear the part where Lilith got cursed too, right? The spell isn't a cure, it just doubles the problem. If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, don't. Splitting the curse won't solve any of your problems. What use will you be to Bellos then? He'll kick you and your uncle out the moment he finds out. Well, at least I'll win him some time. At least he'll get better. And at least he won't be dying. And how would he feel, knowing that he gave his disease to the only family he has left? You didn't tell about him much, but I'm sure this would be the last thing he would ever want. Listen, I know how you feel. When Etta had problems with her curse, I- Stop it. You have no idea how I feel. You've known Owl Lady for what, a couple of months? And she's not even your family. If you want to get close to what it feels like, Try imagining that your mother has a deadly disease, and you can do nothing but helplessly watch as she slowly fades away. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have no right to act like this. You agreed to help me even though all I've brought to you is problems. You told me about the Owl Lady's curse when you shouldn't have, and I act like you owe me something. It's okay. You're going through so much right now. You're right. I can't even imagine what it feels like. Just know that whatever happens, you can always come here for help. Together, we'll find a way out. Just please, don't hurt yourself trying to fix something you're not guilty of breaking. <sighs> I won't. You're right. I won't be much help to my uncle if I do this. It was just a stupid idea. I can trick someone else into splitting the curse, though. No! 
What? Why not? I can find some criminals somewhere. They're bad guys. Hunter, don't even get me started on what the Emperor's Coven considers as criminal. It doesn't matter. However bad the person is, they don't deserve that. Oh, right. I forgot about your whole deal where you're too nice for this. <laughs>